What's up? You are tuned in to Sundogs present Local Vibes. We are Sundogs. Bow wow. Happy weekend. We're your two favorite canines. We're the good boys with the gruesome twosome. Asking you <laughs> how you're doing. Check uh, <laughs> more information about the Sundogs. You can look us up, Sundogs TC. Uh, the Facebook page radio for the radio show is Sundogs present Local Vibes. We're joined in the dog house by Ashley Marie. Marie. How do you prefer Ooh. it? <laughs> We've had you on the show before and I've forgotten. Ashley, since then. Mari, or Marie. I don't know which one. It's mm. up to you. Oh, there you That's go. Because he's options. always said one and I'm always <laughs> correcting him on the I've more been information. corrected also. I have no idea. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming out. <laughs> We're going to be catching up with her after a little business here at the beginning hey. of the show. More information can be found on Instagram at Black Matrix. That was that's with three eyes. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. At Trippy Styles with a Z underscore Gallery, mm-hmm. and Facebook Free Queen C F R E E Queen C S E E. Before us, what were they listening to? That was the 94.1 FM WFNU LP music rotation. Uh, Something phenomenal funky. song. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you are a local artist and you have clean radio edited songs, send them to stationmanager at gmail.com. And if you're a local hip hop and R&B artist and you're able to have your songs be clean enough to play on the radio, send them to us. The radio edited is the key <laughs> phrase, the clean. Yeah. That's what, that's what we like. Uh, Sundogs Present Local Vibes is kicking your weekend off every Friday at 6 p.m., but that's not the only program on their Friday night schedule. Yeah, then we're back into the music rotation from 7 to 9 p.m. on Fridays. And Gall Dagburn takes over with Get the Gravy Hot Fridays at 9 p.m. Then Fridays at 10, of course, is Basic Beats with DJ Dom Terrace. Fridays at 11 is Club 120 Plus with Sid DeLuca. Other great shows to catch here on WFNU is the Midday Escape with Philip Gracia. That's Fridays and Saturdays at noon. The Morning Program with Dr. Rick Burnett weekdays at 7 a.m. Extra Dimension with Ian R. Buck is Sundays and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. The 9.45 show is from 9.45 to 11 a.m. Saturday with Replay 9.45 to 11 a.m. Wednesday. Thursdays at 3 p.m. T. Frazier's Motivational Talks. Hits and history of the 60s, 70s, and 80s with Dr. Rick Burnett live. 8 a.m. Mondays, replays every day at midnight. And Tuesdays and Saturdays at 7 p.m., funk to your ears. Ayo. That is a show that you should not miss. Should. Ph- phenomenal. Those are, that's only the tip of the iceberg of the great programs we have here on WFNU. Um, Soda Sound Radio can be found on Facebook. That's the B&E crew, Nacho Suave and Half Pint, sitting down with local artists and kind of dissecting local hip-hop here in the Twin Cities. As well as Chopping It Up With Pops can also be found on Facebook Live, a similar show. The Mini Rapalist podcast with Logan Michaels can be found on YouTube. And the DJ Buster Baxter show, live every Friday on Mixcloud. Walrus the Human Show also can be found on YouTube. Wow. Um, and you have ha- been having some sitting down with guests Maybe. on your Instagram. I correct? have. I try to. Yeah, it's I love kinda, that. It feels like it's more difficult to do that. <laughs> I had someone kind of cancel on me the other day. I'm really sad. Oh, um, no. Yeah. I really inter- wanted to interview? talk to... <laughs> hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> I still went live at 10 a.m. I got up early for that. There you so. go. That's dedication. Shout out to the artists. <laughs> and uh, do you try and do that at a specific time every week or just when you can schedule the oh. people? Well, I had started doing it on Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. And then it was kind of like me talking and then I would add other people. And they oh, kind cool. of, I feel like people weren't still not coming when they were supposed to come. <laughs> So then I decided, let's try morning. Maybe you're more ready for the day. You exactly. Talk. It's the first thing on your list. You're not going to forget yeah. it. So I'm a morning and night person, I guess. So it depends on who I'm talking to. But I think consistency is better. And is that on the Black Matrix Instagram Correct. or the... Okay. Yeah, for now, um, I might start a whole nother page. I have a lot of pages. So. <laughs> and we'll get into that here in a second. We've got a little bit more business to go through. Okay. More information okay. can be found on Instagram again at Black Matrix. That's with three eyes, And at Trippy Styles with a Z underscore gallery. 
Facebook, Free Queen C. Exactly. Uh, coming up next week, we got Sean of Minnesota Cold. They're just Minnesota Colds. And last week, we got to sit down with Mama Rose. Replays of Sundogs present local vibes, and exclusive content and performances can be found two places, the archives. That's right. Anchor.fm slash local vibes for the audio archive, and then... YouTube, Sundogs TC is the channel. You can find the video archive, and we live stream every Friday at 6 p.m. as well. There you go. A couple different ways you can listen live. If you're listening live right now, you are either in Frogtown with your radio dial turned to 94.1 FM. Uh, you could have gone to the website, wfnu.org slash live, or you might be so lucky to have the Live 365 app and made WFNU your favorite station. And live <laughs> is the key word there. Fridays at 6 p.m. Replays Mondays at 3 p.m. is when Sundogs present local vibes airs here on WFNU. Ooh, and live on YouTube. Sorry. Pre- no, precisely. 651-313-5125 is the studio phone. 651-313-5125. There's a few things that... We won't do on the phone. <laughs> but we'll do pretty much anything else. We're not going to swear, and we're not going to wreck anybody's day. Precisely. Aww. We'll give you, uh, you know, we'll give you life advice, unlicensed, obviously. We'll give you... The radio shout-outs, classic. Yeah. Shout mm-hmm. out somebody. Say we'll happy give, birthday. We'll give you a cookie recipe, maybe a peanut butter cookie recipe. But if you've got mm-hmm. events or want to request a song, anything like that, call in 651-313-5125, or you can email us, sundogstc at gmail.com. You can ask our guest a question. Oh, yeah. We can oh, yeah. plan your trip to um, Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Really? Um, we'll do it. We'll, we'll try wow. our best. We're Sunda- here to please. 651 313 5125. Sundogs TC <laughs> on Instagram and YouTube. Black Matrix on Instagram. Trippy Styles underscore Gallery on Instagram. And Free Queen C on Facebook. Bang, bang. Okay. But let's get into it. Yeah. This time. Thank I you like so much beat. for coming in. Thank you. Thank we, you. We made it ourselves. Oh, you did? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, the last time we had you on the show, my producers are telling me October 2nd, 2020. Mm. Oh, that's when I was here? <laughs> that's when you were here. That's when you had the old, oh, the wow. old location. Oh, wow. yeah. Was it like winter time, too? It's I don't remember up, last year. Yeah. Is it October cold? Sweater weather. We yes. were all wearing definitely long clothes. Oh, I think I remember. It was like snowing, too. Oh, my gosh. Afterwards. Um, yeah, that was a good... Good interview. <laughs> and that, exactly. And that's in kind that of interview, we got 2020. Your, uh, I think that was my only interview. Like, I don't really go out no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who does? It's weird. Right. Days, I'm like, it? does anybody? It's risky. Where it's are we risky. Going? <laughs> so, there's a lot to cover between then and now because we covered your origin story, both as a musician as kind, and kind of as a, in my mind, local fashion icon. <laughs> so we just want to, to yes. touch base, check in, and kind of have a free form show, free form conversation show. Exactly, exactly. Like what? Um. So you were gonna move, or you did move, and now you're back. Oh my god! I think I moved in my mind. <laughs> That's perfect. As long as it went. feels the same, as long I as still you feel like are I'm there. Oh. <laughs> I'm <not here. laughs> the I'm beaches, out. California. Yes. Oh my god! Have you been there? I had visited the beach one time. It wasn't like uh, summery enough to go to the beach, but or like to swim. I didn't. I don't swim. I just go to the beach. There you go. (laughs) Count it. So yeah, you were out there. You were. uh, Yeah, you were gonna. I guess I went there to try to move, but I didn't realize the task at hand was bigger than me. Oh gosh. (laughs) Yeah. What were some? What were some of the obstacles you ran into? I went August twenty twenty at the end or peak of, I don't know what part of the pandemic it was mm-hmm. but I decided I wanted to leave yes. everything behind mm-hmm. <laughs> well not everything take it with me like my hair business my music my talk show I wanted to just expand um, and I've been to Los Angeles before I felt like the vibe was my type of vibe but um, it's kind of expensive and I didn't have enough business at the time mm-hmm. so I do my own I have my own business, which mm-hmm. is hair, and it was kind of hard to network. And 
it was kind of it's a little more sketchier there than Minneapolis. I will Ooh, say. Yeah, people probably. are a little more tweaked out. Like I'm kind of yep. used to Minneapolis, so I can speak to people here, but there I had some weird experiences the first time. Man, yeah. Turned me off. Just so more just, people, more odds to have <laughs> yeah, those weird experiences. It's a lot I'm sure. More. So I've been going back and forth between there and here for like, well, since then. I was there in July. I went okay. the 4th of July, I think, and then before that, nothing and, happened. <laughs> and, I mean, not nothing, but... Yeah, and what's on the horizon is working, kind of, what going back and forth is a, a good situation for you, at least professionally, or are you eventually, mm. once you have stronger roots yeah, out there, yeah. maybe perhaps I'm marketing and advertising like crazy. I'm using the internet, like, all the time, posting flyers, like, I'm here from this time to this time. I get inquiries, but... It's kind of hard on the internet too. People don't trust people as much. You're like, yeah, we so don't know you. Are you gonna take my money? Exactly. There's no like accountability, yeah, especially scammers in that, that first impression. Everywhere. I'm not a scammer, so. I mean, <laughs> that's why I come back yeah. here because people trust me and they know I am trustworthy. I am real. <laughs> but if I, they go to Philadelphia, they'll know you're a schemey. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know. <laughs> they don't know. Yes. Um, that's so in <laughs> no, such an interesting perspective because. Um, you know, obviously it's come across my mind to pack mm -hmm. up and move. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like you're saying, didn't realize the task at yeah. hand. I don't want to say I was defeated yet, though. I was going to say, yeah, I think it's an, still I'm an not ongoing. I'm a quitter. Yeah. And I feel really like I'm supposed to be here for a little more time. A lot has happened in Minneapolis, St. Paul, mm -hmm. since 2020. And I feel like this is where I need to be as a, an artist, an activist, person of color. Yeah. Um, entrepreneur we have a lot of work to do I see so I'm like I can inspire and work around other people that I know already mm -hmm. and LA is like a huge entertainment industry I don't really know if their values are all right right <laughs> yeah it's probably like you're a diamond dozen out there yeah. so it's just like there's no it's harder to build the probably a mm -hmm. personal connection yeah. if they're mm -hmm. meeting a hundred people a day exactly thing, so. I like the personal yeah. experience here yeah well we're glad to have you it's uh <laughs> it's nice that you were able to at least uh you did the move as far yeah, as i'm I concerned you I'm, moved I you moved it. out there i kind of don't even live here i don't live anywhere right now exactly <laughs> so it's, all, I'm like, it's I a can new just go chapter anywhere. for sure so that has been unlocked hopefully you feel yes. a little less of that like nagging feeling mm -hmm. that like you know i just gotta yeah. do something yeah. type thing and now that you've done it now that you're I've you know it. no the s strings are cut you're That's not true. you're not tied down, but you. Uh, I'm glad you're coming back to Minnesota, and it's Ooh. nice having you in here. This is my city or my my hometown. I exactly. Guess. <laughs> so uh, during COVID, obviously uh, nobody's doing anything. Nobody's uh, doing anything. Nobody's doing oh. anything. No no shows. <laughs> I don't know no, what's no anything like that. No shows. They started coming back this summer, right? They yeah, just people are doing that? shows now. Yeah. <laughs> People are going, people are out a little bit. Yeah, you are mics not. are going on. Yep. How do y'all feel about that? I really miss going to them. <laughs> um, but I I'm, do miss I, live music. I really, the, the crowds just get me. I don't know if it was yeah. being apart for so long that I'm, now I'm just have weird standards of don't get too close to me. But, Six uh, feet back. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Nobody's doing it. Uh, the masks are really not there, and I don't know. Mm. Who, I don't know who you are. I can't. Uh, <laughs> I can't trust if you are. I don't even want that close. Me. To yeah. Me yeah, exactly. Anyway. Or like the classic live show. Like I want to be, you know, oh, God. in your ear, but like right Yeah, here. exactly. No, Stay you. away from me. I don't want you to spit don't on my feel neck. Feel your breath. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> don't feel your I breath. I think the last show I was at was in October on Halloween. That was after the show, probably. Uh, nice. Ooh. Yeah. I don't even know if I talked about that. But I was at Part Wolf, and I did not really prepare myself to do that oh perform yeah i was like oh i'm on stage i just like saying random things nice. while my music was playing was that the upstairs it was fun. no it was just the regular the bottom nice oh, cool. yeah they got upstairs there too i've never performed up there I it's a more, been been more there. intimate yeah i went to a dj cool. cam jones event i was there. just gonna say i think cam's gonna start doing they had uh, comedy shows. up there that's smart cam that's jones is spot. always putting in work Exactly. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Give us a call, Cam. 651-313-5125 yeah. yeah. if you're listening. That's my DJ. If not, you're listening on another Friday. 
We'll be in the studio, 651-313-5125. We're sitting down with yes. Ashley Mari. I like the way you say it. Mari. Mari? <laughs> Ashley, The Marie. accent. Right, are you French? What are you, no. Is that Italian? No. That's not French. That's pretty good. Something that's not, yeah, <laughs> American English, Midwestern accent. Midwest. Are y'all from the Midwest? We are. St. Paul. Uh, <laughs> we're from, yeah, we're from about a, a suburb an hour north of here is where we grew up. Yes, yeah, since oh, I was really? three, we were living out in Oak oh. River. And, um, I've heard of it. There you go. Yeah, heard of it. Count it. That's what, right. Is it elk an animal? Yeah. Elk is a, like a big, big uh, deer. deer. Thing. It's between, between a moose and a deer. Oh, weird. <laughs> They're huge. I don't, uh, I don't there used to, there used to be a bunch around them. A bunch of rounds. <laughs> yeah. So well, there's an elk farm for a while. Right. Elk. Okay. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, we've yes. been re- residents of the Twin Cities for about a decade now. Oh. Okay. Um, in the cities. In the cities. Yeah. In the cities. Minneapolis and or St. Paul specifically. Are we unified now? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, sorry. I don't I'm from like... Minneapolis, so I'll just say Oh, that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well. I know there was like a war between St. Paul. Not like literal. No, but. Like, but... You don't claim. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some people are like, you know, St. Paul's Never boring. Never that river. Other people are, exactly. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Keep St. Paul boring bumper stickers <laughs> and, like, T-shirts. Kind of like the Keep Portland, <laughs> Keep Portland weird. Yeah. yeah. Don't bring our mess over here. We don't, need, that not, we don't need the nightlife. I, I disagree. I, I think we need there's... Some, or y'all need something. There's yes. the... Uh, <laughs> Twin Cities Jazz Festival that predominantly takes mm-hmm. place over in St. Paul. Um... I think, yeah, I think a venue in the east side would do very well. Ooh. Music venue. Live okay. music. Okay. What well, was that one place we went to? Well, you were there, I remember. Were you there? Cadence? Cadence. It was in St. Paul. It was a Frog Town event at some place. Oh, oh the creator space? Pet- what? No, oh. not that. It was like an animal with rabbits. Place. Oh, dang. The rabbit hole. The rabbit <laughs> hole? Patrick Lounge? Is, is that, that what it's called? Oh, Patrick, Patrick Lounge Patrick. might be. With the pool table? Some uh, stuff. It was yeah, like, it was a oh, big okay. bar on one that side. That was nice. Other side. Yeah, that is a nice place. Sound yeah, guys. Go back cool. there. Maybe you go on Hat Trick, Mad Hatter, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rabbit. You know, I'm down the rabbit. A rabbit, rabbit wearing a top hat. <laughs> <laughs> I am lost. We gotta take a break here in what? Minute? 40 seconds. Uh, break. Black see. Matrix on uh, Instagram, Frequency on Facebook. Uh, Trippy Styles Gallery also on Instagram. Underscore Gallery. With a Z Sun- style. Sundogs that. TC on, on Instagram. And YouTube. And that's where all the information's at. We're going to be right back. Sundogs present Local Vibes.
Welcome back, everybody. You are tuned in to Sundogs present Local Vibes. We've got Ashley Marie in the yeah. studio. What is up? Thanks for sticking around after the break. Um, if you got some no ad situation going on, um, you're, you're the man. Thanks for <laughs> blasting through this episode. <laughs> we were talking during the break about uh, First Ave, Seventh oh, Street yeah, Entry, we barring you. I no. forgot about that already. Am I yeah. So you're saying <laughs> Wait, you, you did a show on Martin Luther King Day, January 2020. I did. And while, again, during the break, you were saying while you're on stage, it was kind of a oh, yeah. opposite end of the spectrum. What was, what's the background on that? Um, so I also used to curate events as well as perform. Mm -hmm. So I was more on the other side, the organizing side, mm -hmm. where I would book venues and communicate with a lot of spaces in the Twin Cities. Um, First Ave was one of them. Kind of had some like difficulties booking that venue, even 7th Street Entry, which is a smaller side. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why there were difficulties, but shout out to Heavy Rotation, Easy Beats for putting together the show that I was able to host and perform at. Hey. January 2020. <laughs> so I think it was cool that I could still, you know, fulfill my dreams, which is to perform on that stage, really, because I used to go to shows there a lot. I'm yeah. like, oh, I want to go up there. What's up? <laughs> yeah, such a perfect-sized venue. I yeah. think both venues, if you mm -hmm. will. The main, the main room, room and the 7th Street. Mm -hmm. Or all three, the record room, I think it's called. The oh, oh, I used to turn up in there back in the day. Because the Concrete they used, jungle? That was like the yeah. more dancing. Yeah. yeah. And, and they would usually be after the like weekday show. It's like, oh, I'm going to yes. see Brother Ali on a Wednesday night. Oh, and then okay. after that mm -hmm. is the kind Yeah. I saw a lot of Bobby raps and them oh, there when they were still here. Yes. I was there a lot. And whatever other dance shows was going on. Yeah. Didn't they close down? Or did they just... I think they maybe like took a hiatus. <laughs> or or doing the uh, residency. I don't know. A lot of places have closed down. Yes. So I guess. <laughs> so um, we know you love uh, Minneapolis hip hop as much as we do. I am it. No, I'm just kidding. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's, yeah, Before I even knew, I'm not trying to claim. I feel like I was already born into it. Yeah. When I was born. <laughs> like, yeah, let's and then talk. I was brought into it. I was like, oh, well, hey. Yeah. Sometimes Look, you're born with it, right? For real, for real. Yeah, you uh, have helped a uh, handful of artists that I know of with their, like, um, image, whether it's their hair, Ooh. like, their clothes styling, yeah. I think. Um, so that's really cool. Mm, What's image. So you're like, yeah, you like the... Uh, Stylist. Yeah, stylist. Image just, consultant. Yeah. Just, Production design? I don't know. Image yeah. manager. Yeah. I feel like I should do more of that. Yeah, yes. how did that come about? Um, I just got good taste and stuff. Good <laughs> taste and style. Good someone taste approached you artists. or you I mean, asked them? Who? I feel like I started by doing, or started my own business, which was Trippy Styles. And mm -hmm. then that turned into fashion because I used to be a model, like runway. And then that turned, to me, turned into curating my own shows mm -hmm. featuring Trippy Styles and bringing in other people who want to be trippy styled. Um, and then people spreading that word and people come to me for their hairstyles or different creative looks. Um, I also do photography, so I photograph a lot of artists, maybe their first photo shoot. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> you must have just like this energy it shows that make people want to get to know you because yeah you're just always <laughs> surrounded by artists really? every time oh. i see your stuff yeah I'm it's like, all i know are artists that's kind of weird to me yeah i'm like do i know other people i mean i love <laughs> artists but sometimes it's difficult to be around them yeah. for real <laughs> that's yeah that's and be a, cool with them yes, and i consider yes. all friends and <laughs> oh yeah they precisely. all seem yeah uh, <laughs> at least their in public personas yeah. gotta be like on the i'll ship, put that so put my name on it go <laughs> pay me what's yes. the yeah what's the future of trippy styles any big moves that you can reveal or any mm. yeah, when's we got West? another fashion show going oh when's the next fashion I show I need to do something <laughs> honestly I've been reflecting on my life for the last year yeah I think instead uh, of putting a lot of things out and doing them exactly because mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. can't do as much but 
I'm trying to figure out what I can do that stands out from what I've done. Like, I have to be better mm-hmm. than what I've already done. Yeah. There you go. Um, it's a lot of pressure. It's like the sequel. <laughs> is it's it? like, is the sequel... Part two. Yeah, yeah. is the sequel going to be as good as, you know, is the next five years going to be I'm as scared of, fruitful as honestly. the last five years? It's been a good five years. Exactly. If you just <laughs> kept doing what you're doing, right. you'd be able to be proud of the next five. So hopefully you don't feel too uh, much yeah. pressure. I feel pressure. But I see other people doing things also yes. who started behind whatever, through it, me or with me. Exactly. I'm like, like We started at the station uh, after you, like years really? after you, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And so... Oh, look at you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> look at us now. No, but it's oh, like God. very... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're you're doing doing it. Whoa, okay. Exactly, cool. doing. Sometimes things. I don't see. I'm just doing. I can't yeah, take a moment to see. I can relate to that definitely. It's uh, a blessing and a curse, though, because when <laughs> yes. you're just in, in a project, it's a. Uh, you get in, sucked into it. Yeah, so yeah. immersive. Nothing else matters. So fulfilling. Yeah, truly. That's Which is a great my feeling. Life. <laughs> and it kind of becomes inconvenient to be a human at times like that. It's like, Ooh, I gotta eat. Gotta sleep. I, gotta I don't want to be a human. <laughs> it's like, I just want to keep, keep working, keep work, or not There's necessarily so working, but investing my an- artistic energy into these projects. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we sure. talked about the fashion show the last time um, you were on. Um, you said know. you've been reflecting about it. Um, care to share what what your thoughts have been like how you think it went overall what you could do better what went good um well i did one in 2018 fall right. i believe and yeah. then another the next year so fashion week minnesota i don't know if you went to any of those but I um i, the, I guess uh, i just submitted year. myself into it nice. i've never curated directed a fashion show Ooh. and i had to do um the model call the makeup call the designer call Mm. And the hair was me. <laughs> Whoa. The first one was at Public Functionary. Um, I have some video clips on my YouTube. There was also a documentary that was made from that. Nice. Um, I never received it, <laughs> which I'm upset about. Um, Six, five, one, three, one, two, <laughs> five, one, two, five. I need five. a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> like, do I have the rights to that? You know, like, right. they just, whatever. But... <laughs> It's petty because I feel like we all were kind of just starting something. I haven't yeah. seen fashion take a stand in Minnesota as much as it could. Like we kind of like it's That's what to I'm me. Saying. I know I'm not. You're at the forefront. I'm just so like let's like, push through. Let's go up. Yeah. Take it up a notch. So don't you want people to see that, right? Mm-hmm. And I did another one. I kind of didn't do as well because I was so exhausted. I think after the first one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was okay. And so that was just but the following year? Do you that remember was, what season? Yeah, I think it was, they're both, one, no, one was spring, one cool. was fall. So cool. two different seasons. Yeah. It was so kind of hard to so find fun. a venue. Like, I had to find my own venues. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that Fashion Week Minnesota um, can do a little better with their directing <laughs> and you, their help. Like, as an organization, you, you, you should give more resources to people if possible. But I, I really like the idea about um, having a fashion week in Minnesota. Yeah. Like that's, I think it's coming up in fall. There's Now there's a black fashion week. So there's nice. two now. Fabulous. Yeah, exactly. I'm not involved in either. More than I think there should be a trippy yeah. style fashion week. <laughs> I think so. Do, uh, yeah, like fashion shows, award shows. I know. What's like, Minnesota ones? needs an award show, I think. That would be great. Someone was speaking about that years ago, and I hope that they would have done it, and I haven't seen it yet. Exactly. So. Well, you need a catchy it. name for the trophy. Precisely. That's the first thing. Okay. A Grammy. Ooh, or a cool Ooh, uh, uh, <laughs> influential artist from the Twin Cities, you know what I mean? The Roy Wilkinson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the Ashley Mari Award. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh. The, 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 Mar- said, yeah. the Mari. Just the, the Mari. Mari. Hey, the I a- like that. The That's AM, bad. the Ami. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> These could work. These could work. Let's, Let's um, invest in that. And I, I mean, I truly think, and I think we touched on this last time you were on the show, that the Twin Cities, Minneapolis definitely, um, they're going through an artistic renaissance across the board. Mm-hmm. From fashion to music to film yeah, to painting I to agree. visual art to digital art to stage, uh, like uh, stage. playwrights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, from more of a fashion standpoint, what do you think the everyday listener can do, even within their own wardrobe, to push the limits or perhaps the comfort of their fashion? 
Um, what, or... what can people say? What, <laughs> what can the, what what can, what can the, without meeting you, Lord. let me tell you how to dress. Right, I'm like, no, not necessarily I don't that, know. but um, Wait. just like a, a, te- a tenant <laughs> what? Okay. or a boundary that you do or do not abide mm. by. Well, I will say I've been wearing all black for the last few months. <laughs> I can't. This guy was like, I don't see how you're wearing all black like in the summer. It's been hot, but. Mm. I think I go by my feelings and what I feel. So if I feel like it, I do it. I don't mm. live in fear nice. of what other people think about me. Mm-hmm. Whatever that is, like fashion wise. No, that's huge. Um, that is awesome. And I think just be open to new ideas. Don't, or don't you be know, afraid. Yeah, just like oh, I like this and try it on, or if mm-hmm. you can, as far as clothing. Nice. Um, I kind of just go by my feelings. And thoughts. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting to kind of forget about preconceived notions of what you're supposed to wear. I feel like or... people could do better here. I try oh, to definitely, I t- <laughs> definitely. I'm always telling my friend people like, let me help you shop, but they don't ever go with me. Like it's weird. I think they want to, but they don't really want to take that step because mm-hmm. I might put them in something crazy, and they're like, no. I like. Think. Or but, I'll offer it. I won't put it. Right. I was gonna say yeah, or the I suggest. don't know. Think I know. I was thinking about it from uh, a dollars and cents perspective. Unfortunately, would I want to oh, drop sixty dollars on this sweatshirt? I might not wear all the time. Thrift stores. Exactly. Oh, precisely, are precisely. The place to go. Yeah, if I you're think not so. trying to follow fashion. I friends, can't afford any of that. My clothes are ten dollars and them. less. Yep. Well, these shoes were twelve dollars. I just got them yesterday. They're Ralph Lauren. Okay. I mean, oh. they're name brands out they're there. They're like recycled. black leather with gold accents. Yeah. <laughs> like in my shoes. Kind of a very small <laughs> heel. They're kind of classy because I was wearing these like more ratchet shoes. Like I go between faces. <laughs> like I have characters in my mind. I think. Like I'm just a different person every day. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with that. I bet you. I'm not a bad person. LA no, is more nice Ooh. to like switch up your yeah. styles all the time because you meet new like. people every mm-hmm. day versus like here, nobody people knew know. me there. So Ooh. I feel like anybody, I could be anybody. Exactly. Which I was. <laughs> but we can do that here in Minnesota. <laughs> can we? Dress how it. you want. Let's start doing it. Yeah. I was gonna say it's starting yeah. with y'all. How you wanna dress? Even in the uh, <laughs> uh, the winter when, when you got the parka. You just gotta open the park up, boom, and blow people away with the outfit. <laughs> but also, outfit, I don't like yeah. to like give away my coat. Give away. Your like if there's not a coat check. Oh, you want to? I like keep to like it have my coat. <laughs> <laughs> so Same. if not, like wear my coat just with my mm. wear it open with the scarf draped on the outside. Last time you had a jacket on, I remember I said I liked it. Um. Mm. Okay. The You're like, coats. it's just a jacket. I remember you said that. You said it's something. just a jacket. That's probably it's a good <laughs> point. It's a I was impression. like, what is that? It's, like, it's a jacket. Uh, oh, well, October, so it was probably yeah, a, it was a little cold. My, 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 my autumn jackets are probably my faves. Um, autumn is so good. He was saying rompers. He wants to start wearing rompers. rompers. You do? Um, I need you to wear more. How, need to, what type of romper? Like long pants? Shorts? Uh, well, it's hot right now. Wait, how so do probably rompers shorts. Look? They're like one piece okay, shorts yeah. over the top. With like sleeves. Why, why dude? Sorry. Cam Jones <laughs> calling in. Wait, he is? <laughs> no, calling my not. phone, yes. Oh six, my god. Six five one three one three five one two five. It's a Friday. It's a Friday, Bro, man. Right. You know where I am. You know what I'm doing on Fridays. Y'all be talking like that? Mm-hmm. Oh what? Hi. Mm-hmm. Yep. He said mm-hmm. Cam's the moon. <laughs> yeah, does he have a show today? He does not. He's when going to. He's going to start doing Mondays at the Red Sea. It's a new oh, starting this Monday. Those days. Starting this Monday. The Red so sea yeah. Days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He. Uh, yeah. Thanks to the owner at the Red Sea, and of course, uh, Med, the sound guy, and then obviously AK is who uh, Cam started with at the Red Sea. Yeah. And now he's got his own night. This is. I think this will be his first show. No AK. So oh. this is. Uh, mm-hmm. Wow. Good yeah, luck. Doing finally it. doing his own. Yeah, I love it. Might have to come out one Monday. Yeah, and I think it's gonna be every Monday. So it should be sweet. It's huge. I like Mondays. And the sound guy there, <laughs> not to keep talking about sound guys, but sound guy there is so good. They pay a sound, sound guy, guy to be there, and they <laughs> to make it I sound wanna be good. a sound guy. But you want to be a sound guy? But I also want to be on the mic, so it's like you can do both. Yeah. <laughs> Carry no, around my little mixer. Not the same on time. Stage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not at the same time. You're absolutely Different right. Can do shit. both. 
Um, do we have to take a break at 36 or 38? 38. Fabulous. Well, we got about three more minutes till we got to take a break. Right. Um, any uh, baking or cooking <laughs> endeavors <laughs> that you've taken on and since we've uh, sat down with you? Like, over the winter, did you make any good meals mm-hmm. or um, decide to make an apple pie yourself for the first time? Last time I baked a cake, it was, like, watery. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, no. It's a Minnesota there was water, water cake. in there. It was weird. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but um. <laughs> Not a trace light cheese. Yeah, it was weird. It was strawberry watery. creams. I thought I was doing something. <laughs> it was. Maybe it was supposed to be wet though. Trace light cheese are wet. I think trace I got it from like the warm. dollar store. The okay. box. Does that matter? Like the mix? Hmm. I haven't cooked in like three years. I ain't gonna lie. What's your go to? Uh, I eat out. F- yeah, do you have a favorite everywhere. restaurant? Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Wendy's House of Soul. <laughs> <laughs> North side, yeah. they have the soul rolls. Soul. Oh rolls. my god, they're What's like egg that? rolls with soul food or soul. Oh my gosh, it's a black-owned business. She has been all over the news and in. They do newspaper. vegan stuff. I think they're starting to. Nice. You're um, a vegan. Thank you guys. I am. Oh okay. So yeah. I'm, I'm gonna check it out as soon yeah, as you, you guys have vegan out stuff. Them. What was that it called again? Wendy's, Wendy's House of Soul. I thought you were joking about going to they Wendy's. They have Kool Aid too. Yeah, I thought there was this. I don't think they're open on Mondays DK and Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, also, India Palace. Have y'all been there? India Palace. It's an uptown Minneapolis one. No. That's my fave too. What do they got? Uh, it's like, basically India. I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> it's uh, India. There's this. Uh, <laughs> I get chicken cashmere. Nice. Okay. It's like chicken with sauce it's like red or orange sauce awesome give us a call 651-313-5125 give us some restaurant recommendations yeah, I'll go restaurant for restaurant with you all day if you oh. call in I'll <laughs> trade you a good restaurant for good restaurant recommendations more information about our guest can be found on Instagram at Black Matrix B-L-A-C-K-M-A-T-R triple I X as well as Trippy Styles that's with a Z Styles with a Z underscore Gallery Facebook, Free Queen C, as well as Sundogs TC on YouTube and Instagram. That's right. We. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you guys. <laughs> it's all good. We, we got to take a break about, anyway. Oh, what happened? Oh, yeah. Are we on break? Well, we definitely got to take a break in 20 seconds. Oh, didn't miss it. Thank nice. goodness. Um, call in 651 313 5125. And, and yeah, call that phone, Cam, if you want to talk to Cam me. Cam Jones, call in. <laughs> I want to talk to you.
hearing is gonna be gone. <laughs> we are back. Well, Wait, it's, it's, a, it's a short break Wait. for editing yes. reasons. So oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm still here. Welcome so, back to Sundogs Present Local Vibes. If you're listening live, uh, you just got to see what it's like to not have a break. If you are <laughs> listening anywhere else, thanks for waiting around. We're back. Sitting down with Ashley Mari, the one, the only, the person at the forefront of so many artistic endeavors here in the Twin Cities. Well, again, we really appreciate you taking the time. You know, you value your time and are a very busy thank person. You. So thank you for sitting down with yeah, us for a check-in. For sure. If you haven't caught her previous interview, you can find that on YouTube, as well as at anchor.fm slash local vibes. YouTube, Sundogs TC. Or if you just Google Ashley Mari local vibes, that'll oh, pop up. Like, mm-hmm. Google me, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Mari, criminal record. <laughs> LA. What? No, I'm just kidding. We don't know. I have different names. So. Um, yeah, any other. It's my uh, government. Do you have a go to, like, uh, <laughs> Regina Falange? Uh, Roll my name on su- Facebook. Pseudonym? It's Isuru. Oh, oh you don't good. follow me on Facebook. You're on no. my Facebook. Nice. Isuru. You must have changed I it. changed yeah. my name, like, four times. Yeah, that's why I'm not <laughs> commenting or liking anything. Oh, it's like, I don't know. You're like, who this is this? Is. Yeah. What? <laughs> no. uh, what is the That's sig- is that uh, originate? Where does that come um, from? It's a Japanese word. It means to love, to care for. Nice. I chose that because I wanted something that people can feel something. They look it up. Like, what's this? Mm. It's not just a name. Obviously, yeah. it's a word. That's oh, awesome. I don't really like regular names, but people have to call me something. Right. right. Uh, do you speak Japanese? Don't no. I've been kind of trying to learn it. Cool. And some other languages on Duolingo. Nice. I've okay. stopped going to class. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, did you take any classes in uh, school? Any I language took classes? Um, Espanol, oh. Spanish, since about I think sixth grade, seven grade, up to college. I'm not sure if I'm fluent because I don't really use it. But you could make your way around Barcelona. Let's see, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'll make it work. <laughs> Have you, uh, get, get to, have you got to Spain. travel abroad and use it? No, I need to go somewhere and use it. Definitely. L.A. <laughs> yeah, everybody kind of, well, actually, I went to Miami. A lot of people speak Spanish. Nice. And I tried to speak to someone. It wasn't working. Oh. Um, he was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was like a maintenance person. Hmm. So maybe I'm not as fluent as they want me to be. Maybe not. Well, it's got to di- differentiate yeah, country to country, region to region. Yeah. It's not um, the Queen's uh, Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and don't speak um, English. Do you, what uh, would be the top two countries you'd travel to if uh, you got a round trip ticket? Only a month top in each country, two though. countries. Uh, I had neither. What did I want? I want to go to Japan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm Japanese. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and maybe India? Nice. I think I should go. My mom is from India, actually. Okay. No she was That's born cool. in India, not from. She was born there. I think I need to see what it's about. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think that's I'm kind of scared, though. I mean, <laughs> I, but, I, but I think a journey everyone should go on, definitely, mm-hmm. if your parents aren't uh, from this country. I just want to go to where, and then my dad said, I don't know where he's from. Africa. <laughs> Somewhere in Africa, I should definitely touch down there. Yeah, a yeah, genealogical journey, if you will. I have to go through a lot of places. Yeah. I have a lot of different things. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the. I'm still at the passport application point. Oh my I god! Don't even have Same. my passport, so I have the photo. But uh, aren't they making you like get it on your ID, or is that? There's some. What's up with that? The real yeah. ID. So, the yeah, real so ID. So it's gonna be for like traveling inside of the United States, which I'm pretty Ew. sure is not cool. So you have I'm to have that sure. to travel here. To like go to Wisconsin type or go thing. to California. Who's the way? So like yeah, <laughs> Wait. It sounds Oh yeah, by October I should go get one. Sounds like nonsense. But if you've got um, a passport it'll work just the same. But if you don't have a passport and you're gonna need this new ID. You said you oh, okay. you're gonna be out there in October? Huh? I think they said you have to get the ID back. Oh, right. I, I don't know. Check your well, governmental yeah. information. Weird. <laughs> yeah. But they'll come to get you. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to get out the country soon. I, I don't know where. I, I, I think uh, a Winnipeg 
moment. That? That's uh, in Canada. Oh, yeah. It's like yes. the nearest, the nearest yes. metropolitan area uh, next to the border of Minnesota and Canada, at least. Or you just hop on a plane and go to Ontario. You know what you I mean? You need a passport? Uh, yes. Oh. But like, Toronto. Yeah, Toronto would be sweet. Where's Drake from? Oh, yeah, the Toronto. Six. The six. Uh, <laughs> <I'm in> the <laughs> six. What up, Drake? Um, yeah, Drake, well, give us a call. 651 313 5125. I'm not lying. 612 313 Yeah, what are your actual Exactly. The country code. Yeah. If you're not hanging out here in the United States right now, Aubrey. 651 313 5125. And if you're listening to this in the future, we're here every Friday. 651 313 5125. If you don't swear, we'll put you on the air. What's up with swearing? Is um, that a bad thing? Um, the live radio. The, F- <laughs> the FCC could tef- oh technically. Uh, oh yeah, I should know. Huh? Fine um, us and yeah. take away uh, grants from the station. I'm sorry. I believe. Yeah. I did um, my crime. Did my time. That's why she was really out of California. Why? I had oh, to no. please. No, I think I was excited. I was going and I went crazy on the air. No. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no. I s- just started playing all types of music. Oh right. I was happy. That's what happened. All right, guys. No, <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I've already been reprimanded. Um, yeah. Uh, what is your? Wait, I do have something to share. I forgot. Please. I have an event. <laughs> nice. I was gonna say. Oh, I have to mention this for. <laughs> yeah, we only have about ten minutes it's, left of the show. So. That's why I chose this date because I was booked to perform next Friday. Boy, 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 boy. Right. Steven Square Park in no Minneapolis. Way. What's the show? What's it's the event? called Red Hot Friday. They've been doing it every month since the summer, I guess. Oh my um, I was at one as a visual artist selling art. So this one I'll be performing wow. at 6 p.m. That's not... Until uh, 7 p.m. One Wait, y'all are going to be here. You can't go. No. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, our generator situation lined up. We <laughs> Come can broadcast, broadcast from remotely. We, yeah. we plan we, to broadcast remotely oh, in the do? near future. One okay. day soon. Mark my yeah. words. <laughs> um, we'll be at a show. That is from 4 to 8. They have um, other artists and then DJ Sci Fi, I believe, is after me. So cool. come vibe out. Nice. Um, yeah, how late does that go? 10, eight. eight. It's from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. 4 to 8. It gets gotcha. dark around then. You don't yeah. want to be outside. <laughs> Steven Square Park. Steven uh, Square Park. I used to yeah. live over there. That's it's what we call poop park. Poop park? Poop park. Yo, no one so picks up their dog no. or human feces. <laughs> and there's in that so park. many That's <laughs> buildings weird. around. But. Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, like, all right, this is, I'm going to be there. But It'll be <laughs> four, to cool. 4 to 8. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Just come, come see on me out. from 6 to 7, then I'll be out. It'll be And fun. you said red? <laughs> red jam? hot. Red hot. Fridays. 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 Not Look, red They're jam. on Facebook. They have a page. Um, yeah, I think I can share more. it. As Please. Well. It's probably gonna be my last show of the year. It's my only show. <laughs> and that's what day again, sir? The twenty seventh, Friday. Yeah, we'll make sure. To Next write Friday, that I have down. a special guest, I believe, coming up. Can you reveal it, or is it a surprise? I asked them. I just want to make sure they're gonna do it. You know, when people say they're gonna do something, yeah. I just don't want to mention names. Should I? Well, no, you sh- I should because I want y'all to put him on the radio. His name is Yak. Yakanaka. He's watching right now. Yeah. Are you gonna perform? It's Yak. You know, it's we, Yak. We play his music y'all on the show. Y'all should bring him in. That's one of my favorite artists. I hope he comes out and performs with me. That's we'll dig through our uh, emails and find your Trying email. Otherwise, email edits. us, uh, sundogstc at gmail. Big Yak. Am I saying your name right? Yes, Sorry, it is. Yak and Nod and Okay, Learn thank you. I used it. to always be like, I don't know. <laughs> He's got it as his intro. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and a bunch of his yeah. songs. Yeah, uh, that's the homie. 651-313-5125. Give us a call. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely do, though. So we're talking about uh, Yak and Ankad. Uh, it's Yak, big Yak. It's Yak, right here. Uh, and you've helped him do uh, yeah. uh, styling. I've been his hairstylist for the last few months. Yeah, like so cool. I'm yeah. proud of his hair because you know he keeps it up. He's growing it out. A lot nice. of people didn't have a lot of hair at first. They're growing their hair, mm-hmm. which is now either is a wave or is like you just feel like being more natural. Long hair, don't which care. I'm like I'm cool with that. Honestly, yeah. I feel like everyone should grow their hair out. <laughs> Why not? Not for me, just to do it. Just like, I feel like it looks better. Exactly, and I, you know, as a long-haired person, forget <laughs> that some people never grow their hair out. Mm-hmm. How Ever. long you had your hair? Um, like, um, 
Have you ever had it short? Oh, mm-hmm. that grew up with the oh, short. Okay. I mean, bowl cut, crew cut, bowl was more cut. So, mm. That's Which I I'd like love to bring. I'd love cuts. to do again. I mean, I'd love to bring back. Yeah, I guess it depends on your your style. Some people do look good with short hair. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna say don't, mm-hmm. because I had short hair. Now I'm growing it back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I am available. Trippy styles to do hair styling. Um, whatever fashion. Exactly. Basically, I mean, talking to artists because we hope artists mm-hmm. are watching this show. Um, it's good to. Like, if when you're on stage, it's good to be memorable when you're on stage. Like, people are looking at what you're wearing the whole time you're on stage. Mm-hmm. Um, people <laughs> make assumptions based on what they see. Um, so, Ashley can point you in the right direction, uh, can help match your style to your brand. I would love to. Um, yeah, and it's uh, it's something that you should definitely be doing. If you've got no idea what you're doing, <laughs> get some help because it's, it's important. <laughs> Image consultant. Exactly. Uh, trippy Styles uh, Gallery. Underscore Gallery. On Instagram mm-hmm. is a great way to get one, in touch. Maybe. Yeah, is that the... Well, with the gallery. I is, think there's other Trippy Styles. I'm just wondering what the best way to contact you directly. Oh. What do you use the most? Email, Instagram, Facebook? Facebook? For I Trippy Styles. I feel like Instagram... Nice. Oh, cool. Is my most. I like Instagram. Trippy Styles with a Z underscore gallery. Oh. Don't. Facebook tried to ban me for like a day one time. You're just controversial. Sorry, I just want to. You're getting banned from We're sitting everywhere. down with the controversial. <laughs> yeah, I'm being real chill. Out. Artist oh, Ashley I'm Marie. I'm so controversial. Exactly, exactly. It's great. <laughs> it's the name of the next track. No. So, my like my album coming. <laughs> yeah. Controversial. <laughs> because we've got this uh, performance, it's outside, which is very yeah. cool. Um, it's during the day, which is very mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. My um, let's talk about... And I can't be for, intoxicated there. Yeah. It's in my contract. <laughs> it's in the contract. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, should I drink this day? <laughs> like, I don't know. I have to get nervous. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, it's, it's nice. Ooh, so I mean, it's not, what, uh, <laughs> what else do you do to prepare... For your performance, like for this performance, what are some things that an artist who's maybe performing outside for the first time, what should they be doing? Maybe even performing for the first time. So like, or first time in a while. This yes. Case. It's been a while. So you're doing a lot of practicing? Um, Starting not really. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of improv. Improvise. No, that's cool. I mean, I've performed so much that I know the stage, I know what I'm capable of. I just yeah. have to like organize it yeah what's a good so, uh, stage presence look like in your mind to, like what should people try to achieve while they're on stage i would say definitely connecting to the audience not just being up there just like it's just you i've learned that the audience is there for you or you got any if tricks for somewhere. that do you like say how are you <laughs> doing tricks. at the beginning well since i used to be a host i kind of figure i would just be more like host vibe and just nice. being welcoming introducing myself where we are and like making people feel comfortable because i feel like people aren't comfortable <laughs> like i had to make people come to the front of the stage a lot yeah. when i perform and i'm like can you come up here because i need that energy as yeah, an artist w- welcome them to that moment yeah like it's okay but we're still a little social distance i guess yes. stay in your zone i don't want to make people feel like they have to get all up precisely and, somebody's and i pre- i personally even pre-covid preferred a radius Space to group, you know, like when yeah. people in the audience, you don't want yeah, somebody. don't want to bump somebody, yeah, um, or touch sweaty arms. Okay. <laughs> Is that yeah? I feel that. And, and it was it was nice for it to be just the way things were for a while. I like that. And sorry, back I'm to stage. To I don't know what else I do. Just get up there and yeah, go yeah, crazy. Yeah, connect to the audience. <laughs> yeah, connect with the audience. You said the audience is there for you. I think that's huge. Imagine an artist who's now ne- who's afraid to perform mm. because of the audience. Right. Well, what if the audience is afraid of you? No, I'm exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, quit. I don't know if I want to. I want to take my performances up a notch, but I feel like we're not ready for that here. I okay. haven't seen any wild shit. I'm not wild. I, I got two words for you: fog machine. <laughs> it's already I'm, foggy. I'm, I'm not. Cam just, knows all about the fog. I don't know if I yet. like. I've had. It's, yeah, Cam. It smells the, terrible. Don't get me wrong. I'm but it's it not look, good for the environment. It looks so. cool. Oh, it's not good for okay. the environment. <laughs> I was thinking. Inventors, we need a good for the environment. Uh, more dancier. 
Yeah. I've always wanted a group of dancers with me, but it's oh. difficult to s- set that up. Exactly. Practice. Exactly. I don't have space to practice. I don't have time yeah. sometimes. Yeah, I can't support your life in order yeah, for you to Yeah, I want to make sure that people are stuff, yeah. taken care of. Like, I'm yeah. poor. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, there's a few, <laughs> no, there's a few dance um, troops in the Twin Cities that have yeah. made appearances in a lot of hip-hop and R&B videos, which is cool. Yeah. And, uh, I think we ha- need more. To get yes. that on stage, like, three dancers, mm-hmm. or even two dancers, mm-hmm. one on each side one, of you. One, and then you're I doing... I used to be a dancer. Like, oh. In a group. Like, I was practicing. What was the group called? Um, I don't remember, but... <laughs> I think you do, and you just don't want to say I don't know if it's right, so I don't want to, like, say Can't it. say it on the radio. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no biggie. There was a video of me dancing somewhere. At? No, I'm just <laughs> well, There was actually a lot of videos of me dancing. We'll put Not the link the in. same dance. Not the same. 651-313-5125 if you want those links. Right. It costs money. Yeah, we've only got two minutes left. Um, so mm-hmm. to someone who wants to make, like, Minneapolis, St. Paul, like, a, like as cool, like, because you were moving to California to, like, chase, a, like, a cooler version of what you have here basically <laughs> i'm still chasing it. exactly in the process and yeah, so like what uh <laughs> what what do you think we can do uh the guests can do if they're trying to make a more vibrant just like not like flashier but more not enhanced like glamorous artistically like enhanced make it, more make it cool like more and more epic more official like all it takes the is Hollywood people life. putting <laughs> their energy into it and yeah. like it mattering to them for um, it to matter to everybody but what advice do you have i think there's a lot of petty stuff here mm. that we need to address i don't know if i talk about that but people here kind of feel like they're not trying to work together <laughs> <laughs> like they want to do what they have to do so you might have to work with someone but they don't actually want to mm-hmm. take that and build on that i think that's important yeah. because we're all here Could if we're all divided it doesn't really feel like people want to see that <laughs> like, yeah. I want to see us work together and build off of our creativity right. and whatever else we have Definitely. like I've come here twice I didn't have to really right. but I'm here because I see you doing something that I believe in Heck oh, yeah. excuse me oh <laughs> no, <laughs> that's me the a good music. cue yeah we got uh, okay, 20 seconds left thank you so much for coming in Ashley seriously yeah. we really appreciate thank sitting down with you it's an honor to get to catch up and to get a glimpse behind the curtain we are out Appreciate of here. It. We'll see everybody next week. Uh, Trippy out. Styles with the Z underscore gallery. Black, uh, <laughs> Black Matrix on Instagram. Sunox present. Local vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah.